Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Jelani and in today's video we are still continuing our AdMath revision papers and we are looking at the topic of alpha and beta roots. Now this is a topic that a bit of students have some trouble in. Um, personally I think that it's just one of those topics where you need to go through all the different ways the question could come to be able to truly understand how to tackle it. If you just think you could see the question on exam day and figure it out, I'll put a high percentage, I'll say 95% of the time for alpha and beta roots, that would not be the case. right? You really have to practice these and see the different types of questions that could come beforehand. So let's take a look at this one. This one is from the May 2018 exam and it reads here, if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 equal to 0, they want us to determine 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. And uh, this question is, is precisely what I was talking about a little earlier, where you have to see this question beforehand or see a similar question beforehand to really know how to tackle this. Because when we learn about alpha and beta, the only formulas you're really given is this here. You, you, you're really just given that the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a. And then you're given that the product of the roots alpha multiplied by beta is equal to c over a. And, and that is it. And of course, the, the a, b, and c that we see in there, it, it comes from our general form of the quadratic, right? ax squared plus bx plus c. So, yeah, if, if all we just given are those two formulas for this topic, and now they're asking us to find 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared. And you assume that, you know, once you learn these formulas, you're good to go. You, you know, a, a bit of a, of a, of a, what, what to say, a pickle here. Because, let me, let me just edit, um, move this down a little bit. Yeah, you're in, you're in a bit of, of a situation here because how are we going to manipulate this? How are we going to apply these formulas to 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared? And well, I'm going to show you it, obviously. Um, but it, it it's really hard to figure it out on your own. So before we actually do it, let's just work out what the um, sum of the roots and the product of the roots would be, right? So the sum of the roots here will be minus b over a, so b is negative 5, so we have positive 5 because the two negatives interact with each other. We we'll have 5 over 2, and then the product of our roots c over a, well c is positive 3 and a is also 2, so we have 3 over 2. So we're just marking down the sum and the product of the two roots. And now to actually solve this question, what we have to do, very, very simple idea here, but what we have to do is we have to find the LCM of the fractions. And of course the LCM, we just multiply the two denominators, alpha squared, beta squared. And then we do our usual division and multiplication. Alpha squared by beta squared divided by alpha squared and the alphas cancel off and we end up with beta squared by the numerator. So beta squared. And then this, the opposite just happens here. The beta squares cancel off here and we end up with alpha squared by the numerator. Alpha squared here. So now we have beta squared plus alpha squared over. And because these two have the same powers, we could just move that power to the outside here and now we kind of made some good progress because the alpha by beta in the brackets we have 3 over 2 so the 3 over 2 could go into here and we just square it later on what we have to figure out is what we're gonna do with the numerator 
because alpha sorry because beta squared plus alpha squared is not the same thing as just squaring this if we square this it is not beta squared plus alpha squared let's take a look at what happens when we do square it alpha plus beta squared is a binomial um, expression and if we expand it we get alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared now what that means is that if we want to get this beta squared plus alpha squared down here if we want to get this look at what we have to do to the red the red arm working alpha squared plus beta squared we have to send this to alpha beta to the other side so we end up with alpha plus beta squared minus 2 alpha beta and now this here this red here alpha squared plus beta squared is what we are interested in in the numerator and like I said we couldn't just go square in the green because square in the green is this binomial expression here that we expanded to get this long expansion here so how are we actually gonna go about finding our numerator beta squared plus alpha squared is we actually gonna work out this left hand side of the red equation here and that's not too bad to work out at all alpha plus beta is 5 over 2 5 over 2 squared minus 2 by alpha by beta which is 3 over 2 so we have 3 over 2 and that is alpha squared plus beta squared which is our numerator so keep that in mind everything in red is to work out the numerator to our fraction down below here in blue so twos cancel here and when we square this bracket we get 25 on 4 minus 3 and what i what i usually like to do just to work out my fractions a little faster is i'll just represent this three as a fraction out of four so 12 over four and then if we subtract the 25 minus 12 now well we'll just get here three one 13 over four and this here is the value of alpha squared plus beta squared So again, everything in red was to work out our numerator in blue at the bottom. And we finally worked out that numerator, alpha squared plus beta squared, to give us 13 over 4. Now that we have that 13 over 4, and the denominator of our fraction, we have the 3 over 2 to go inside the bracket we could now work out our answer. So I'm gonna erase the working in red. But like usual, if you need anything or need to get a second look, you could just rewind the video to the point that you, you see fit and just work it out from there. Now I'm gonna just take this guy here, move him a little higher. Oops. And now we're gonna go back to working with our blue fraction where we now know the value of beta squared plus alpha squared is 13 over 4 and that is being divided by the product 3 over 2 and we square in that so that will be 13 over 4 of course if we multiply if we divide them by fractions we multiply by the inverse 
4 over 9, the 4s cancel and we end up with 13 over 9 as our answer and we close it off by just saying therefore 1 over alpha squared plus 1 over beta squared is equal to 13 over 9. And there you have it, that is the answer for the question. Like I said, this question, you, you, you cannot work these questions out just by pure intuition. You have to be practicing this type of question on a regular to be able to get it right. Um, also too, just like I said in my last video about my working and just to pay attention to it, everything that I, work, I, that I wrote down here was important to show the examiner you know what is going on. Even the stuff in red that I erased, all of that is important to show the examiner that you know what is going on and you are, you know, you're, you're not just guessing things or, or trying to remember, you know, one particular question it shows them that you know the process to work this question out and yeah so that brings an end to this question like i said usual stuff guys if you made it this far first of all i just like to say thank you for sticking around this long and also that i really hope that you're able to learn something from this video if you did learn something from it or you just found the video enjoyable you know feel free to give it a like if you want to subscribe to see some more of these sort of videos because i'm gonna be doing as many advanced videos as i can leading up to the exam feel free to go ahead and subscribe and you could also check out some of my pages there my facebook and instagram pages as i'm trying to build a little math community there to help out students there as well um so you could check those out and follow them if you'd like and yeah um once again just thank you for for taking in this video and I will see you in the next one.